Hello everybody! Merry Christmas to you all! Welcome to the final day of 25 days of Christmas filled with games. And I am going to show you all my number one pick for the best game plan review game of 2020. But first, I am going to do a recap of all the games that I picked for my top 10 for game plan review for 2020. So let's start the countdown and roll the intro to the best games that I reviewed for game plan review for 2020. I Yes, it has the same thing. All right, folks. My number one pick. First off, here's a clip from the game that I picked for game plan review last year. Options. Oh, that's what. But it's so hard, it's ridiculous. Now I found out what I'm going to do normal. Here it is! Boom! Suck it, Vince! Suck it! My number one pick is, that is right, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade 1-Up Cabinet. Now, I do want to point out that the reason why I have this as my number one pick is because both the games that are on it, I did not remember even playing them. I know for a fact that I wasn't able to play Turtles in Time in the arcade, but I did see an arcade machine at one time. And I didn't even remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles even playing that through MAME or whatever not. So I ended up doing a gameplay and review of both games. And I couldn't pick one or, or the other, so as a result, I picked them both. And as a result, that's the reason why this is going to be an hour video. And so that way, I can play both games for you guys. And it's not a tie or whatever not. I'm including the entire machine as a result. And of course... There is a light up marquee available for this and eventually I am going to buy it and uh, eventually you will see that particular video when I get it because 
I know for a fact that it's available right now. I'm not sure if it's sold out or what or not, but I'm eventually going to pick that up. So that way I at least have a light up marquee for this particular arcade one up machine. It's going to be awesome. I just don't have the money right away to actually buy the light up marquee, but eventually I will I will have the money for it. So as a result and by the way, I did a five-parter on this. It was originally supposed to be a two- or three-parter, but unfortunately, because I didn't like the footage, I ended up doing additional parts for this the particular gameplay and review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, so now here are clips from the five-part review of the arcade one-up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet. For gameplay and review, I'm going to do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. There's nothing wrong with the control. I actually like the challenge. It's pretty good. I like the challenge so far. It's pretty good. I was actually doing them until... Oh, I did good. Oh, I did better. Holy cow. Oh, I blew him up. I don't think I... I, I don't think I did that in the first time I... Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't blow him up. I'll take that, sucker. Everything that was in Turtles in Time is, is there. There's no alterations whatsoever. And besides that, only one alteration with the the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. It, it, it's just about perfect. Everything else is in there. And I have no complaints about that. So, green card goes to the TMNT arcade cabinet. Worth every penny. Now before I get to my gameplay of the Arcade 1-Up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles machine, that is the last inductee in the Video Game Chronicles Hall of Fame for 2020. So those are your five inductees. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Machine by Arcade 1-Up, Holy Diver, Micro Machines versus Excite Bike and WrestleMania 2000. So congratulations to those games. They definitely deserve it. All right. So now for my gameplay, it's going to be longer because I'm doing two games for the price of one. Yeah, I'm playing both Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Turtles in Time for you guys. So I hope you all enjoy this hour of gameplay footage of both games. So I'm gonna play this first, guys. Welcome to my gameplay. My toes, my toes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm gonna be Leo no, no, I think. Let's start. This is April on the morning. Let's go. Go. 
<laughs> hey, Crank! Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! This will at least help with the uh, focus. I could play any one of these games. No. No.
banishing you to a time warp from which you will never return. All right. Prehistoric Turtle Saurus.
home, I feel seasick. See you for the next Turtles game, Pizza Power! which won't be, which will be right after I switch to the next game. All right. The final game that I'm playing for 25 days of Christmas filled with games. The original arcade game of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I played Turtles in Time already. Of course, I, that's the only change that's been made. The game is the Now 
playing as Leonardo so that way you can see the game. What out. Because it would be much harder if I played the other characters. Part review on this is the footage that I did with this didn't look right, so I played both games again. The good news this time I have uh, <laughs> that was awesome, actually. I like that. And I died. Now I know that Aubrey Scott calls his uh, channel the Arcade of Fun. Well, hopefully someday he'll buy some Arcade 1-Up machines to add to that. And then, then it would definitely look like an Arcade of Fun. But that's up to him. I'm not. I wanted to do that. Because you could do that in the NES version too. Walkthroughs and challenges of both games in the near future.
Come on, sucker. Come on, Bebop. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bebop. Hurry, Beat Rock Steady. Baxter Stockman's next. Be 
about an ox today again. And they're both together. Rock sturdy. Fight. Fight each other. Did it. Let's move it. I owe you one. <laughs> I owe you one. Hey. Because you guys deserve them. See what time it is. Okay. That's fine. They're really making up. Sorry for that.
Try again with the bombs. That's it. Yep, that's it, guys. I am done. I'll do a walkthrough uh, at another time. been my gameplay of both Turtles in Time and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. So that is it for my gameplay of both Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Turtles in Time. I hope you really enjoyed the gameplay. And before I wrap up this edition of 25 Days of Christmas filled with games for this particular year. I have picked out my favorite moments for 2020 for the Video Game Chronicles. If it's a walkthroughs and challenges, you will know about that. If it's a regular Video Game Chronicles video, you will know about that. If it's a game plan review, you will know about that. It is from those particular videos, and I hope you all enjoy the best moments for the Video Game Chronicles for 2020. Winners fight... Winners fight drugs? <laughs> you mean winners don't take drugs? No, winners fight drugs. See, I didn't see that when I checked the title screen for the very first time to make sure that this was working. I didn't read that. <laughs> Winners fight drugs. <laughs> this is so hilarious. <laughs> this looks like an Action 52 game. <laughs> Even summer. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! <laughs> look at the look at the bullet! Look at the bullet bounce! <laughs> look! Look! <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call it right here, guys. I'm done. Oh well. Okay, let's try that again. I want to see if the TV comes on, cause that was weird.
Oh, it did. It came right on. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Because uh, I have the FDS stick hooked up and the RAM dev hooked up to my uh, AV Famicom. I wonder if that's why it turns on and uh, puts it onto my TV. But that's a pretty weird oddity, I'll say that. Oh, I did it, I think I did it. I think I did it! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Finally! Yes! Yes! Fuck that boss! Fuck that boss! Finally! Yes! Yes! Thank you! I've never seen this before in my life. Come on, come on, please, 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 please. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to play the game anymore. Oh, come on, please, please, don't do this to me. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm screwed, guys. I think I'm gonna have to call in the night. I didn't expect this to happen. Look what happened, look! I've never seen this before in my life! This shouldn't have happened! I can't do nothing. Nothing. Is I have to reset the game. This is a pretty weird glitch, I'll tell you that. No! You... Can I do it? Oh, I fell into a pit! These green balls. Got him! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Is that it? Oh my god! Yeah! Yes, yes! I can't believe that I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> well... It was good for a laugh, but that's it. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. <laughs> I played a game that was worse. It, it, 
I, I don't know what is going to be. This is going to be probably my bottom five this year. <laughs> it's an automatic red for me. Regardless of it not being translated. <laughs> but this is the most pro. <laughs> this is the most broken game I've ever played in my life. Rest in peace, Alex. By the way, wrong. But that was for Alex Trebek. So that was all my favorite moments for game plan review, the video game chronicles episodes, and walkthroughs and challenges. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I thank you all for watching this particular season of 25 days of Christmas filled with games but I'm still not done yet I'm still not done yet guys I still have another countdown to do and that means I won't be wearing this and I'll probably be wearing my mask I'll probably wear my mask for this particular countdown that's coming that's coming uh, just shortly that is right that is right, folks. I'm counting down the worst games that I review for game plan review for 2020. The games that I would love to forget. And I still have to talk about them one last time. All the turds that I played for 2020 this year. And uh, they definitely deserve their own spot in the countdown. And like with last year I do not put them in the 25 days of Christmas filled with games pot unless of course I'm doing a revisit on them for the countdown however I'm not doing that I do countdowns after Christmas for the worst games and I'm doing that again this year and there are certain times that I will be getting to the best and the worst for certain years that I forgot to do. But that won't be until things start changing. And if it wasn't for COVID-19 this year, things would have been a lot better. And I probably would have did my requests as well. Because unfortunately this year, I couldn't do my request for 25 Days of Christmas Field Loop Games like I did last year. Last year was a whole different story. I did requests and it was a lot of fun and I did gameplays as well for you guys and I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to do a request this year for 25 days of Christmas filled with games but next year hopefully that will all change all right folks I hope you all enjoyed this season of 25 days of Christmas filled with games and I will catch you It'll either be tomorrow or the next day. And I don't mean the next day as in the 26th. I mean the 27th. It could be that day as well. I haven't decided yet. You will find out either the 26th or the 27th when I'm doing it. I'm starting my countdown of the worst games that I did for game plan review for 2020. Alright folks. I hope you all enjoy your Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all and a Happy New Year. Stay safe and stay awesome. God bless you all.